Well, the um, wax welding process went so well that we bought a whole load more and we're actually going to go over the bottom of the car and um, cover it all, see if we can make less mess this time. So my plan is to cover up those bits I don't want to paint. So for example the exhaust, the suspension, the brake, or the wheel. Alright, and um, yeah, the bolts. Um, and then paint the rest. Uh, I have done this side, this bit, and I'm bored. So I'm going to take a quick wire wheel to the wheel arch here, clean it off a bit, and I'm going to have a little go at painting in here first to see if I do any better than last time and see how it comes out as a test before we go on to anything else. Okay, we've got a slightly different approach today. My understanding is this can be thinned with white spirit rather than heating up. So we're going to try that today. I don't actually have anything as a convenient way of pouring it from one receptacle to the other. So I think we might have a bit of a mess to come still. So I'm going to mix this well and then we'll come back when we go through a bit of painting. Okay, I don't know how well you're going to understand me because I'm all my stuff this time. So we're going to carry a bit here. Okay, so I say I've got this too thin this time. Okay, so what do we think of that? Well... Um, I think I got the paint too thin this time, but um, it's going on. And that gives me confidence to keep going with it, to be honest. So, um... <laughs> But what we're going to do is I'm going to see what this looks like tomorrow now, I think. And see if it really is too thin, if it's, you know, it's still like this or if it's dried off or what. Um, so we'll stop here for today and have another look at this tomorrow. Okay, well I'm happy with how that's come out underneath there. So, um... We are going to do the rest. We'll start by covering everything up. Clearly it gets everywhere so we'll have to do a bit better job. Um, but uh, And maybe a little bit thicker than I had done it. But um, I think we will progress with the rest now. 
So I've been um, trying to cover up as much as I can. I've done some of the other side. And <coughs> what we're going to start with is I, I've actually painted um, underneath with um, Hammerite uh, for the front half up here. Okay. So we're going to go from back here and we're going to just do this half, this side of the exhaust and we're going to go up up to the battery cage and all the way back and so we're just going to do the back near side for now. We'll do that first and then we'll um, mix up more paint and, and do some more but we're going to start with that and then we'll come back and have a look what it looks like. Okay, and that's this side paint. I actually did go all the way to the front in the end. Um, and up around here. So uh, I need to do some taping off still on the other side. But um, that seems to cover pretty well. Should give it a bit more protection than it's got. So we're going to go with that and mix up some more paint. So um, just <coughs> so you can see, I mix the paint a bit more sensibly today. I mixed in here and I did 500 mil of the wax oil product, and I did about 10% white spirit. So. Um, and then stirred it in here to make sure it was stirred and you can see at the bottom actually it's a bit of thickness there but we'll use that again and go along that poach. Right I've done both sides now. Um, I've deliberately you know not done things like the axle because um, I wasn't sure if I should so there's a bit of areas where you know I've taped off and there's possibly one or two which I've missed under there um, but that's gone on much much easier than I anticipated um, and my advice to anyone doing this is um, <coughs> use just just use 10% white spirit with it um, it goes on really easily I mean, it's a much colder day today than it was the last time I was trying to do this um, that's gone on really easily. Uh, I'll now leave it for sort of six hours to dry and I'll clean up so and um, I'll call it done. So um, underbody is kind of for the year protected um, and we will move on to something else. Um, I think my next little project is going to be um, to fix up these bits here so when I converted over I clearly didn't do a very good job um, around this bit and I'd already painted at that point so I can't remember what I did uh, go back but I just want to clear this up and same on the other side and respray um, it might not be warm enough for that yet but um, that is one of the jobs one of the jobs is obviously I need to um, have another go at the overdrive which I'm going to do and then finally I'm just so unhappy with my bonnet having had quite a nice finish and now I just can't get it back in so I've actually ordered a aftermarket bonnet um, so you, you know should fit um, it was 200 quid as opposed to 600 so you know um, we're going to that's on order from um, the MGN's club so hopefully that will come through soon and we'll spray that as well so I'm not quite sure actually what I'll do next um, but because uh, it would be sensible to do all the spraying at the same time um, but we will move on to something else <laughs> 